Hey guys, uh, Ubalal again, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you uh, that there's more than one way to uh, crack an application. And um, yeah, I'm going to use the same applications as used in the first video, but uh, I added a form to it, and you'll see that soon. So uh, our first mission is to get past this login screen, because it says you fail here, and you don't get past it. So uh, let's load it up in Reflector. And uh, do as I did in the first video, just right click and go to entry point. And we can see that it loads the form login here. So uh, let's just follow it. And um, yeah, we can see uh, the uh, BTN login here. And uh, last time I just reversed this uh, jump, so it uh, basically reversed the if statement. But we're going to do it a little differently this time to show you that there's uh, other ways to do it. And uh, what we're going to do is add a jump at the very start of the applica applica uh, method, sorry, uh, before the if statement here. So we'll make a jump so it jumps right in here and uh, do this instantly when it loads the uh, this method. Alright, so uh, let's just make a uh, BR opcode, which means it's an uh, unconditional jump, so it just jumps to an instruction. And uh, this is the uh, beginning of this statement, so we're gonna go past that and uh, jump directly to this one. So basically, at start application, it's gonna automatically just jump to this line here. And uh, let's see if it works. So just save it and uh, run and press login. And yes, it works very good. And uh, now we see this form, and uh, it doesn't let us press continue here so there's nothing really we can do here so we need to uh, wipe at this as well so uh, just press uh, exit and uh, reload it here in reflector right so we're gonna open the same uh, method here and go to the form that it opened and see what's going on here alright so we saw that the uh, this is the button we want to uh, want to press but as you saw in before it was uh, disabled and we couldn't click it so we need to change that and uh, we need to uh, look through the methods to see where the button is uh, disabled and uh, we can see that it's right here in the uh, form load method here and uh, we can see that the button enabled depends on uh, the is licensed boolean in the settings so basically this whole thing depends on if this is true or false. So if it's licensed, it's false, the button is not going to be enabled. But if it's true, it's going to be enabled. So what we want is to have this always enabled. So basically we want to remove this call completely and just replace it with a true boolean here. And uh, in IL code, a uh, true boolean is basically a uh, just a number one. So uh, yeah, we're going to replace this call now and uh, we see this is the call to the settings default here get default and this is the call to the is licensed method here um, well the get of the property here so with these two we're gonna remove uh, because you see this sets the button state depending on the return value of this call here so we're just gonna create a new ldc.i4.1 this is the uh, opcode to load a integer to the stack and uh, basically if you load a zero it's gonna be a false boolean if you load one or five or I think I think whatever's higher or lower than zero it's gonna work as a true but we're gonna use one uh, insert here so now this call is completely removed and just it's basically saying this button enabled equals true here so uh, let's try this if it worked Oh, sorry, I didn't crack this. Uh, let me just do this quick here. Um, just a big jump to uh, this and save again. Right, let's try it again. Okay, so now we see that the button is enabled because we, uh, yeah, you saw what I did earlier. Uh, but this still says license not found 
we don't need to change this, but just for fun, I'm gonna make it say that it's found the license. So close this again, and uh, let's check the form nag here. And uh, this is the same thing. Uh, if settings is licensed, it's gonna show that it's licensed. But if it's not, it's gonna show it's license not found. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do it a simple way. Just uh, reverse the uh, if statement here. So let's see. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, if statement, the jump here. So if we just change this to be our false status, I'm gonna see if this works. Oops. And hopefully this will show licensed. Right. So now we can we can just press continue, and we've made it. And that's one way to crack this application, but I'm going to show you another here. Um, and this is uh, a very effective method, but it doesn't always work, especially when the uh, application is obfuscated. It's very hard to do this, but uh, in this case it's it will work fine. So you saw in the entry point that it loads the form login here. So we can just make it load the form main instantly instead of going through all this crap here. So when uh, what happens when you load a form in uh, an application is basically just uh, a new object opcode called to the uh, constructor of the form and in this case you can see that it's calling the constructor of uh, form login here so this is going to load the form login but if you close this and uh, open our form main here and uh, choose this constructor instead it's basically just going to load the form main and skip all the other forms so uh, let's try this as well And uh, there we go. Just instantly opened the uh, main form here. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show with this video. Uh, it's just there's a lot of ways to crack an application, and uh, if it doesn't work one way, just try another.